Hey Polygon, it's uh, Mike McWhorter. We're at CES, we're in the NVIDIA booth. We're checking out Project Shield, the Android-based uh, gaming uh, platform that NVIDIA announced earlier this week. So we're gonna check it out, play a few games, see what it's like. Um, two analog sticks, directional pad, four face buttons, and then some interface buttons so you can pause, pause games, you know, you can go to the Tegra Zone store, you can go back, home, adjust your volume. And on the back we've got uh, two shoulder buttons, two trigger buttons, pretty basic stuff. And then we've got some uh, inputs and outputs, uh, uh, mini USB, uh, HDMI, micro SD, headphone jack, pretty standard stuff. This is a 720p multi-touch screen. Uh, we've got a couple apps on the main interface. Uh, we've got a couple movies installed. We can uh, take a look at Thor real quick, see what that looks like. The screen's really nice. It's a, a 720p retinal display. Looks really great. You can really, actually, you can feel the sound as it's uh, pumping through this thing. Sound quality is really good. What we really want to do is take a look at some of the games. They got a couple pre-installed in here. We're going to take a look at. Uh, we're going to take a look at Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2. So dual analog sticks, feels pretty good. Face buttons feel really good too. Um, really no control issues. It, you know, holding it really, it feels like, feels like an Xbox 360 controller in a lot of ways. Uh, in terms of size and just uh, the way that it kind of sits in your hand and we have access to triggers and shoulder buttons. Uh, D-pad uh, is uh, a little bit concerning because it's, uh, it, it takes a lot of uh, push to actually get it to move over. But game looks gorgeous, screen's fantastic, Sonic, just as fun as ever. So let's get out of here, let's take a look at some of the other games. And so this is a, a demo of Hawken, uh, you know, highly anticipated mech first person shooter. Uh, plays great on here. Um, I think it really just kind of, it's just a demo, I'm just running it around. Uh, I can you know, do a little speed boost with my mech, do some jumps, rocket jumps, firing with the shoulder buttons, trigger buttons. Uh, launching some grenades. You know, it feels great, it, it runs very smoothly. Uh, it actually seems like a viable device on which to play Hawken. It definitely doesn't look as good as some of the demo footage we've seen of the fully fledged version of Hawken, but it looks nice. Uh, some of the graphic effects look a little bit basic. They look kind of like it's on a mobile device, um, but still pretty happy with it. Could be a good way to play some Hawken on the go. You can see they've got a custom Hawken uh, faceplate-like thing on here. NVIDIA says that they're going to maybe make a couple of these for people to customize their uh, shields, but you know, I, I th they're going to leave it up to other people to make their own as well. Slides right back in. So this button actually takes you into your games, Tiger Zone Store, and to stream uh, games from your PC. So we're just connected to a uh, GeForce GTX equipped PC in the same room. We're going to go in there, we're connecting. And then we look at the uh, available games that are on that PC, and they've got a they've got a couple things installed already. We can also go into Steam and play Big Picture mode if we want to. But let's just go in and play a little Need for Speed. Feels good. Feels good. Feels like it's running pretty smoothly. Looks great. Perf my performance is not so fantastic, but uh, it actually looks like it's uh, running pretty well. So the current setup we have connected to the PC, we're running through Ethernet to stream the game from to stream Need for Speed from the PC to the Nvidia Shield. Now, that's because we're at CES. Uh, you know, in theory, this is going to stream uh, wirelessly uh, through a router, and then you can, through uh, HDMI out, hook it up to your TV. So the NVIDIA Shield actually feels really good. It feels like a, a great little Android gaming device. Uh, controller is really nice. Uh, feels console quality. And maybe a viable option, option for people who are looking to buy some Android games and play them with a real controller. Feels good. Screen looks fantastic. I guess it all comes down to content.